Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about some solar panels. I know most of y'all have been asking me about solar panels, so I'm gonna show you a few uh, variety of solar panels. When it comes to solar panels, there are two types, of main two types of solar panels you need to worry about, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. I'll put something about it in the description so you guys can go over it, but I'm gonna tell you the main two differences. I'm gonna show you some different sizes of solar panels. So if you're trying to build an array, like a 2000 watt array, the size of the solar panel you pick is very important because let's say you, ha you don't have a lot of space on your roof or if you're doing a ground mount, I'll kind of show you my ground mount. I chose to do a ground mount because I had space to do a ground mount. But if you put it on your roof, your size of the panels you pick are very important. And I'll go over some of these. Uh, let me just show you real quick. You, you can see the different sizes of the, uh, the panels, right? So when you look at these panels, the first thing you see are the wafers are different. So the ones with the squares, that's monocrystalline, meaning there's one cell. It's made of one cell. That's a polycrystalline because you see it's you can see all the lines. That's one way you could tell the, the differences. This one right here, it looks like a mono, right? But no, that's a polycrystalline. It, they just cut the wafers differently. That's another mono. So you could just tell the difference. Mono, poly, 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 mono. But check this out. Poly. That's the same one, Polly. And little maintenance. I'm gonna go over all these with you. Um, I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so I can show you. But the main, oh, I forgot these two little ones on the corner over here. We'll go over these, the two Polly's. So one of the things I'm gonna talk to you guys about is choosing your solar panel for your system. Very important. So if you're doing a 12 volt system, you want to go with panels that's going to uh, work for a 12 volt system. So not only do you have the different panel types, mono, crystalline, and polycrystalline, you also have a different system types. You could do a grid type system, which feeds your power directly to the grid. No batteries, just the solar panel, the inverter, it goes straight to the grid. Then your other system would be a backup system. Backup system is going to cons consist of the solar panels, the inverter, charge controller, and your battery choice. And you, in batteries, there are a whole different world in batteries. I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, grid tied system or backup system. My friend installed a system and they installed a grid tied system and he was all excited about. Um, having solar panel when the power goes off he'll still have power guess what happened the first side of power outage the whole grid side system is off because you can't have a grid tight system fit in the house that goes back to the line so if you're gonna do a system where you want power in a power outage situation you're gonna have to get a hybrid system a hybrid system consists of a grid tight system that feeds a battery pack and then grid tied inverter and it also has uh, a standalone system that feeds the house for uh, power outage situations so it can do both so actually there's those three types grid tied backup and hybrid system so you got to know those differences guys it's not just getting solar or installing solar you got to know what type of solar system you need or what, what you're willing to do. I have both. I have grid tight system and a backup system. And my backup system is a hybrid system. So it sells and feeds the house in a power outages situation. And I also have generator to charge my batteries in case we have sun, no sun for uh, several days. I can go about three, three days on my system with no sun. That time I installed my generator, hook up my generator and charge my batteries. 
but let's stick to the solar panels. We're getting off track. These panels right here. This would be for 12 volt system. Okay? You would be using this for charging a 12 volt battery. Real small. So that's a, let's see. You got a 10 watt, that's 10 watts, you see right here? 10 watts. This is the same and this one's five watts. Okay, once you get over here, this is a rich solar and you have 20 watts. Okay, so keep track of these, 20 watts. This is a 50 watt solar panel. Now here's where, here's where it gets interesting guys. So these solar panels right here, you see the height difference. And this is where, I'm, this is what I'm talking about. When you choosing your panel, if you choose this panel right here, okay? If you choose this panel right here and you're doing a 2000 watt system, look how small the panels are. So you're gonna need less space with this panel. But guess how many watts this panel puts out? It puts out, you might wanna, I'll get that on video for you. This panel puts out 327 watts at 54.7 volts okay and it's 5.98 amps okay remember that look at the size this panel right here a little bigger way bigger so if you choose this panel you're only getting oh this is a big one too 320 watts and that's 9.2 amps okay at 46 volts 327 320 look at this same size so you, you you would pick this panel over this panel check this out you'd have the same amount of panels but this panel puts out 280 watts Okay, at 44 volts, 8.4 amps. That's why I'm telling you, you have to know what panel you're choosing. Because these two are the same height, same size, 320, 280. You have to buy less panels with this guy. But you need the exact same size. So here you go, two almost identical panels, okay? Let me, let me just back up so you see these two panels. Almost the same. This one's even bigger. This guy's even bigger. So this one again, 280. This one right here. See that? 330 watts, 46 volts and 9.3 amps. See? Almost the same. <laughs> so you got to pay attention when you buy your panels. Make sure you don't just buy, you know, the panels. We'll do the math and see how many you would need. Now, this panel is just about two inches bigger. Okay? It's a monocrystalline panel. Let's check the, the wattage on it. Look at this. 435 watts, 72 volt, 72.9 volts, 5.9 amps. Okay, it has an open voltage of 85.6. Wow, 435. I think this is one of the biggest ones you can get. Okay, so you got a 435. 320, 280, I think this was 330, yes, 330, 280, 320, 327, 50, and 20. 
So when you planning your system, guys, <laughs> you got to pay you got to pay attention to the panels you buy cuz it could save you a lot of money and a lot of space. When I made when I set up my panels, 280 was the price range, that's about it. This is my setup. Okay. This is my setup right here. Okay, guys. So, just just let's say, for instance, you just you decided to do a solar system, and you wanted to buy ten solar panels. Okay. With this one right here, you would get four thousand three hundred and fifty watts, ten panels. This one right here, ten panels, you would get. 3,300 watts. This one right here, you would get 2,800 watts. This one right here, you would get 3,200 watts. And this one right here, you would get 3,270 watts. So you guys see what I'm saying? The panel you pick and the wattage you pick is gonna make a huge difference in your system. So choose wisely, choose wisely doesn't matter if you go poly or mono the size of the panel doesn't matter it's the wattage make sure you choose your wattage right and you see if you don't have space I would highly recommend you go with something like this because this is 327 watt and look at the size if you have space you can go with this guy right here and you get a 4350 watt panel uh, system with 10 panels see on this guy right here you would only be getting for the same amount of mount mounting you get almost half the power for the same amount of square footage so choose your panels right if you're mounting solar on your rv or travel trailer i got some mounts i want to show you these are the mounts i use they're hard plastic, real easy to mount, real easy to set up. They come with this, uh, like you, this is where you drill the panels to them. And you can either glue this or just put one screw right here. These are my favorite mounts. Let me show you how I put them on the solar panel. This is how you would mount it. This is your corner mount. So you just come right here, slide your panel, you put one screw here, one screw here, okay? And this would be your other mount, see that? It works on any size, I'll show you on the big one, just here, see? Then these right here, those in the center. If you have a really long panel, like that 400 watt one, you'd have to use this. On, on something like this, you wouldn't need it. This goes on the other side. So you get the idea, right? Doesn't matter what size the panel is, something like this, see, just mounts on the corner. Real, that, this right here is the best, my favorite mount. On smaller panels, you could just use the two center legs like this. See? This is how I, I mounted this one. I just used the center one and I just put two of them. That holds it perfectly. So if you're trying to mount this on a trailer, RV, I prefer these mounts. I don't like the metal mounts because mounting metal on top of your RV roof bad idea this one right here I just put a stick bead of uh, silicone and one screw that's what I like using on the, my solar panels on the RVs and trailers. okay guys so quick video introduction to my uh, solar we're gonna be doing a lot more solar panel setup we're gonna ma be making a uh, solar tracker system I don't know if you've ever seen a solar tracker system. It allows you for your solar panel to track the sun. We're going to be building one of those. 
and building some uh, standalone systems, grid type systems, battery backup systems. We'll be doing all that. And uh, just stay tuned, you know? Subscribe to Gavin's Garage, where we generators, solar, wind. It's my wind turbine right there. It's not real windy right now. I do wind, solar, backup power generators. So uh, guys, subscribe to my channel and keep watching for more content. We'll be, I'll be showing you my uh, solar panel on my RV in the next video, just to continue this, this solar system. Okay guys, that's it for uh, our little solar introduction. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, this has been Gavin's Garage, solar system setup. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye.